Mega Mechatronics. Welcome back to Mega Mechatronics. This is part three of the BMS videos. Let's take a closer look at the complete proof of concept system. And uh, this is the test rig on the test mule. So we have all the uh, signal wires coming from the battery packs, the lithium battery packs, coming through this harness onto our proto board. And then we have power and uh, serial communication for the LCD screen, which comes up there. And here we can basically do anything we want. It's really easy. Uh, there's a library that's provided to us uh, so we can take a look at some code. So uh, I turned some, changed some filters on the camera to help see this. It looks uh, a lot better in person. The camera just doesn't pick it up. So we detect the amount of cells and there's some confirmation for that. And we can see uh, all 10 cells, there's room for 12. And we have the maximum pack voltage, kind of a estimated um, the percentage of charge. And then we have a uh, minimum voltage displayed there. And you can see I was doing kind of a um, over uh, bringing the dropping the volts when the cells goes down. So it goes into a low voltage warning state. And when it goes into that state, we can output uh, several signals depending on how low the voltage is to either cut off the throttle or uh, to reduce the throttle um, to, uh, you know, reduce rider demand. So let's take a closer look at the hardware and software. Okay, well, let's check out what we got. We specifically wanted the I squared C, I two C type of uh, serial LCD uh, shield module here, just to reduce the wire count, because all we need is power and a uh, two wire bus. So um, here is a kind of some test code that I use to test this out. So we need to include some of these libraries. So if we follow um, the information here, uh, they, they have links and all the example things like that. So the resources are out there. It's really easy. Um, so here's some example things. So if we go into the actual code here, uh, this is an example of uh, our BMS. So we include all that information here. So that was pretty much copy pasted. And then we have uh, our specific Arduino codes here. Um, begin the LCD 20 by four is the size. Turn on the backlight. Uh, we have a bunch of inputs, a couple outputs. And this is for that, you know, throttling back if the voltage is low and then cutting the throttle if it's critically low. Um, and here we're going to check for the cells and uh, count our cells and, and confirm with the rider uh, that there are actually 10 cells. Otherwise, you got problems. And we're, we're basically activating if we want to look at all of those cells. So in our, in our case with 10 cells, it's going to ignore 11 and 12 because there does not exist an 11 or 12. Okay, so... In the loop, we're going to start reading if, if the cell is on, if we, if this cell exists, do all this stuff. So we're going to take a pulse for the high portion length. And then we'll take the pulse length of the low portion of the signal. Um, and then we take it down to a function here and then we take it to the throttle tender, uh, which is an, a function for the throttle cut or throttling back. And then we're going to print that out somehow. So this isn't exactly like the example we had, but, uh, so you basically put the cursor for the LCD and then print the value. Uh, okay. This is for debug serial print. So here we're going to just print a, uh, three digit voltage. Um, so if we jump down to the function PWM convert and throttle 10, let's take a look at that. So we're going to take the length of the pulse being high, and then we're going to take the length of the pulse being low. So you can see Z and Y will transfer down to this function here, which is at the bottom, PWM convert. So in comes a Z, in comes a Y. So we're going to get our total length here, Z plus Y. And then we're going to create a new variable here. And we're going to divide that. Um, we're going to multiply this by the percent duty, which is uh, Z, the percent high, 
divided by the total, which is X, and that'll give us a percent duty times 5,000 millivolts is 5 volts, and then we're going to return this value V. So that V is actually going to come down through this function, uh, so V would actually end up here, and then it's going to um, turn either bring, bring these high, which actually for safety these should be pulling them low, just in case a wire breaks or something. Um, but it, it's just an example of the concept. So we have it, uh, a cutoff amount X and, and or, I'm sorry, the cutoff amount would be LVC and LVW. We should find that up here. So we have 3.6 volts and 3.4 volts is the lower cutoff. Come swoop back down here. So you can see it'll, it'll turn those on or off. Um, and again, here is, um, some, the LCD printing of some of that stuff. Okay, not so fast. Let's take a look at the enclosures here. And what we did was we 3D printed them. So I created a simple box to house the LCD unit and I made uh, sort of a uh, steering stem adapter that you can use a zip tie through. So you zip tie through there and see those standoffs in the corner, uh, reinforced in the corner, of course, and the provision. So we can take a look at the, uh, the BMS enclosure. So this is the bottom side. So the top side has those clips there. You can see, uh, those notches and the top side will have the custom, um, uh, fastener mount. So you remove the fasteners and then you can unclip this and uh, access the BMS components. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for sticking around guys. And if you like the video, please uh, like and comment. Thanks guys.